Good morning. How are you? The sun is shining and it's a beautiful day and an all new show today. Really excited actually to be back from vacation. Feeling refreshed and renewed. We uh, went on a family vacation, a real vacation, and I have to tell you, we haven't done that in years and years and years. Um, we, we thought maybe it was time, you know. Riley, my son's 17 and is going to be going off to college, uh, you, know, you know, in a bit. So we thought, you know, it's been a long, cold winter. We'd splurge, and we had really one of the best vacations we've ever had. Did a lot of nothing. Uh, relaxed and collected shells and, um, you know, ate some great food. I... I hung up my apron and um, let somebody else cook for me for a few days, which was really, really nice. But anyway, I, I Facebooked about it, so thanks for everyone who followed my trip, and um, hopefully uh, you enjoyed some of the pictures I took. We went to Jamaica, and it was just it was beautiful. We rented a, uh, a house on the beach, and it was just really, really lovely. Played Scrabble and I read a couple books. Speaking of books... I completely dove into our uh, Fox 11 Living with Amy Book Club book. And it's really one of the best books I've read in a while. I learned a lot from it, but it was actually a really fun read. It's called Into the Beautiful North. And so, you know what? It's a quick read. Even if you're not on the beach in Jamaica reading it, just curl up on the couch and uh, give it a try. It's... Um, this the cool part about it is that our book club meeting is coming up pretty quickly. It's actually next Wednesday, April 6th. But the other thing is, is this book is part of Fox City Reads. So basically, you know, the whole community is reading this book. And then the author of the book is actually going to be coming to the Fox City's Book Festival, which is uh, mid-month. And so he's going to be appearing at several different venues throughout um, the Fox Cities. And he's going to be actually talking about the book. So how cool is that, that you can actually read the book and then um, go actually meet the author in person. So first thing to do is pick up the book, Into the Beautiful North. You can get it right at the Reader's Loft in Bellevue. Come to our book club meeting, April 6th. And if you can't make it to the book club, at least check out um, the author who will be coming to the Fox Cities Book Festival uh, mid-month. I'm also going to be doing a cooking demo mid-month as part of the Fox Cities Book Festival. I'm really excited about that. I'm going to be at the Nina Public Library doing a, a cooking demo and and things like that. So check check that out. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right. So back from vacation and thinking spring. I had a lot of time to, you know, um, really get the juices flowing about some new fun spring recipes. And we've got a bunch of them for you this morning. The strawberries are really inexpensive right now, and they're all over the place. I know Festival has a, a huge selection of them. So I thought let's use some of those strawberries and get some of those great spring flavors. And this is a fun recipe. It's a strawberry soda cake. And you know me when it comes to baking. I love the uh, using a good old box of cake mix any day. I always have a few of these in my pantry and then just jazzing them up. So that's what we're going to do with this recipe. Um, we're going to use some strawberry soda and make a really moist, delicious cake. And I love the frosting um, of this cake, too. So it starts out with a box of white cake mix, not yellow, white. I've got a cup of water boiling here. So I'm going to actually, I don't want that to boil away, so I'm going to turn that off. And I'm going to get to work on my cake mix. So one box of white cake mix. I miss that snowstorm. Boy, do I feel lucky. I lucked out. And we were so worried about our driveway. And we didn't have a lot of access to email and phone and things like that. So... Um, we were able to get a message to a couple of our neighbors and said, you know, if anybody's around, you know, and we didn't even need to. The driveway, we, we pulled in and it was completely cleared. So got to love that about everybody in Green Bay. They look out for each other. So it was really nice. We didn't have to hassle with that. So you want to bake um, and make this the white cake mix according to package directions. So, you know, just follow the directions on the back, oil, water, and eggs, and just the egg whites in this case. We're not going to use the yolks. We'll use the yolks another time because that'll affect the color of the cake. So one. I've never seen my family more relaxed and normally for our vacations we just go to our cottage which is great but it's in northern Michigan and um, you know sometimes in March not that I don't love northern Michigan, I really do. Um, but we just needed a warm weather getaway, bottom line. It had been, like I say, about five years. So there's nothing like when you step off the plane and it's 80 degrees and you're hearing reggae music and 
fresh fruit and oh, everything just tastes so much better and sweeter. So in there, three egg whites. But again, just according to package directions and we're gonna beat that up. Check back to my water. I wanna make sure that's plenty hot. I just didn't want that water to boil away. Well, we missed the dog though, and I think he missed us too. It was great to see him. Oh, Levi. Levi the dog. And there's nothing like sleeping in your own bed. There really isn't. Okay. So that looks good. A few different steps. This uh, cake recipe is a little bit putsy, but it's worth it, and it's, it's really easy. So I'm going to spray my 9 by 13 pan. And this cake recipe you need to do in a 9 by 13. This really doesn't work well with the layer cake, so, um, which is fine with me because I, that's usually what I do, or the 9 by 13, because they're easy, easy, easy. And then just bake this cake according to package directions. Now, this cake is a make-ahead because there are a few different steps to it. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about making this for your family or party or whatever. Okay. So in this will go into your preheated oven, bake according to directions, use the old toothpick uh, test, and when it's done, it needs to cool, completely cool. So, um, you know, I usually do it in the refrigerator because, you know, you can cool it on the counter, but that just kind of speeds up the process. So let's get to this boiling water. I'm going to take the boiling water and I've got two boxes, two of the small boxes of strawberry jello. This is going to be the most moist, wonderful, fun cake. I missed each other, didn't we? It was a long week. It was a long week. I missed my Deb fix. I'm just going to whisk that together. Actually, Deb, you said the spatula worked better. So we want this to, to start to thicken just a little bit. Just dissolve that jello into that hot boiling water. Okay, so we've got a cake, one baked cake that we've got in the refrigerator that's been cooling. And now's when the fun's going to start. I'm going to take a fork, or if you have a straw, and I'm going to poke some holes all over this cake. This is a fun one if you have to bring it like a dish to pass to a potluck. Yeah, we played a lot of board games and Scrabble and read some magazines. And my family, it was just uh, Ireland, Bob Riley and I, just a, uh, our immediate family. And we ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner together for seven days straight. And, you know, in these crazy times when life is so busy and I really try and do a couple of family dinners a week and Sunday brunch, um, but to actually eat seven you know, seven days straight, breakfast, lunch, and dinner at a table. Um, it was, that was probably my favorite part of the vacation. It was just, you know, special times like that because I, I know they're not going to be around forever. So um, this gelatin goes over the cake. It's going to just soak right in there along with, and that's why it's called a strawberry soda cake, one cup of strawberry soda. So we were just able to find the bottle. If you can find a can of it, that would be perfect, and then just drink the rest of it. So this is going to soak into this cake. 
and just be so moist and yummy. And it turns the, the cake a pink color. So this now goes into the refrigerator. And like I say, it's going to be so moist. It's going to just soak up that soda and that gelatin. Um, and because we poke the holes in it, it'll really just get in there and, and nice. OK, so into the refrigerator, this guy goes. And let me show you what the cake that we've already done that's been in here. And I already soaked that all up, looks like. See that? It even just looks moist and wonderful, doesn't it? All right, now for the frosting. This is one of my favorite frostings. One, um, because it spreads so easily. Two, it's just quick and easy to make, and it's just something different. It's just um, really light and kind of spring-like, since we're thinking spring. So it starts out with um, some milk. We've got, uh, what, a cup and a half of cold milk, because we're going to do instant vanilla, or you could do French vanilla if you could find it. Pudding. So beat that together. Just until it starts to get a little bit thick. So see, even though there's a few different steps to it, it really is pretty easy to make. Had some great food in Jamaica. Had the most wonderful banana bread. And I was able to squeeze the recipe out of the, the lady who cooked for us. And I'll have to share that with you. I'd have to put that one on Facebook. Best banana bread I've ever had. Oh. And she did it in a blender, which was really kind of cool. Also, the big dish there is, um, they serve it as a side to go with the jerk chicken and the jerk pork is rice and peas, which is, are really rice and beans. They call it peas, but they're really like kidney beans. So I'll have to make that sometime too. Good stuff. All right, so our pudding starting to thicken just a little bit. And now I'm going to fold in just an eight ounce container of thawed whipped topping. Hey, and by the way, if you're not doing anything this weekend, come see me. I'm gonna be in Sheboygan Falls and in Keele on Saturday at the Pigs. In Keele in the morning and in Sheboygan Falls in the afternoon. So stop on by and say hi. Okay, so this is just a light Super easy to spread. It's kind of this, you know, with the strawberry uh, flavor of the cake. Then you've got this light, creamy frosting. This cake needs to be refrigerated until you serve it because this frosting is so light. That just goes right on the top. And then you can garnish it, which we will. I like to do kind of each piece, maybe garnish it or put a strawberry where you would mark each piece with fresh strawberries on top. So I'll do that and make it all look all pretty, but it's just delicious as is. The strawberries on top just kind of make it look real pretty. So there you go. It's my strawberry soda cake. Isn't this a fun one? Recipes on our website. You can also pick it up at any Festival Foods.